Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. This is show enough to bring to you yet another episode of Joy Design. Today, I want to talk to you about this female variant of Godfall Superman. And I want to go ahead and get on this action right now, guys. With me, I have Mr. Super Lattice Steel of Scions. And, uh, you know, today we're just actually, uh, you know, we were just getting together and we were doing some couple of duos and just kind of chatting it up. And, uh, you know, he's really been one of my followers on my Twitch. And, you know, that's how we met. And, you know, from there on, man, it's just really been nothing but blessings beyond that. You know what I mean? So, um, so let's go ahead and uh, check out what we got here. Now, I'm gonna let y'all know right now, if y'all want Super Ladder Steel's outfits, his styles and how it, you know, whatnot, y'all let me know because he's yet another, you know, Superman fan, uh, aside from my homeboy named Prime Beyond. His, his styles is absolutely wicked cool. You guys gotta really check that out, man. So, so if you guys want to see want to see some styles from him, let me know and I'll relay to him. And then you know, if, you know, I'll see if we can do like a, a special Joyo design uh, episode featuring him. And he's going he'll be the one to talk about his styles. And you know, I probably I'll possibly do a female variation of it. So, but let's jump on in with this Godfall Superman outfit. And the reason why I, I did this, and I told you guys before that, personally for me, when it comes to comic book characters, if it's common, I won't do it. But if it's something that's gonna intrigue me and if I can actually kind of put my own spin into it, yeah, I'll play around with some stuff. And uh, I'll play around with the, you know, with the costume and the character design and all that. And maybe I can possibly make it my own, but it, it's still have a, a bit of a, a identity to, um, you know, uh, identity to the style, you know what I mean? So with that being said, first off, I want to go right ahead and talk about the colors real quick. And the colors is, of course, for, you know, the palette here, it's C100000. Again, it is C10,000, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, I'm gonna click OK with that. <laughs> Next, we have AE, AE, AE. So it's, AE, AE, AE. Very weird. So we got that going. Then after that, we have 2F, 2F, 2F. <laughs> Man, so we have 2F, 2F, 2F. So there's your, there's your color guide there. Skin tone, if you really want it accurately, um, you could put it light. Otherwise, it, it, to me personally, it won't really matter. Eyes, I put it gray a bit. Hair, you know, it's black. Makeup for my female, of course, is red. So it doesn't matter, you can choose whatever. You press save once you get done with that, and then we're gonna go over to the complete style that we have here. Now, I did put some, put my own twist to this because uh, some of the styles, um, some of the items that are on the male, it has a different aesthetic for the females, or rather a different design for the female. So um, I have to kind of play around with some of the items just to really kind of achieve a, a, a you know, pretty much a, an accurate look, not necessarily dead on or spot on, because you're not gonna necessarily get that with a female avatar, but, I wanted to, you know, kind of at least go with this, you know, go, you know, kind of have a bit of a flow. And I'm gonna let you guys know right now, just kind of give you a little spoilers. I have another style, uh, style video that's gonna come up pretty soon. That's gonna kind of feature some of the styles that you see here. But beyond that, you know, we, you know, that's one's gonna be a bit thorough. But I want to kind of, kind of go through this real quick. So first off, we have Pixie for the hairstyle. All right, that's gonna be again Pixie for the hairstyle. And then um, for the head, I didn't choose anything for the head, not even for the face either. Um, no accessories, even though you can't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if you, you know, it's up to you if you want to put a white aura on it or whatever. It's up to you. But for the shoulders, however, and this is kind of weird because um, I had the hive um, shoulder piece on this before, but I think this would kind of come close as accurate you know what I'm saying, with this piece, and that's the Retro Tech. Now, um, I'm gonna give you guys a mere suggestion on the shoulders for a moment, you know, after, you know, in a bit, just in case, rather if you wanna create this style on your male avatar, otherwise I choose, I chose Retro Tech 
for uh, for the shoulders. For the emblem, of course, you want to have your Superman emblem, so you want to go ahead and grab that. For the hands, um, I chose Tech Sniper. All right, and again, that's the Tech Sniper, so you want to kind of fill in the colors in the back there of that tech piece. For the waist, I chose um, House of L War suit. For the feet, and again, this is kind of weird, but you know, to me it is, but then again, you know, it, it could be useful for some of you guys who may be visiting this style again pretty soon, and that, uh, rather this style piece, and that's the fourth world. Again, fourth world, all right? Very easy to get. It is one of the styles that you'll get very early on in the game. For the chest piece, of course, this is really one of my go-to pieces. It's the Stellar Defender. It is really one of the most versatile chess pieces in the game to achieve a numerous amount of style uh, style options or style designs, if you will. Just really want just just to create a plethora of costumes with this style. So again, that is Stellar Defender for the legs, and this is going to kind of come off as weird again because some of these styles are pretty easy to get and definitely cheap. And that would be the ice. Um, leg piece, all right, again, that's the ice leg piece. Um, a mere suggestion, you can use either the flex angled suit um, leg piece, or you can e either use uh, the segmented um, leg piece, the leg, excuse me, the segmented flex suit leg piece. If you, you know, even want to use panel, the panel uh, f uh, flex suit, you can do that as well. And for the back piece, finally, Instead of using the House of L um, war suit, um, Kate, I just went on right ahead and used this, uh, the Steel Suit MK1. Uh, it, it, it has more of a, it, it's the rendition of it is more accurate and it's bigger, the emblem is bigger. So, and of course you want to color that uh, silver. So again, well rather it's not even again, just to let you guys know, the, the emblem is silver. So you want to fill that in as well. With that said, once you're complete, and once you're finished with the style, and you know, once you're you're done with, you know, once you you know put the color placements and everything, and once you're done, you're gonna hit save, and then you're gonna achieve this look. Now I'm just gonna kind of give it to you guys real quick. If you see this style here, with uh, what Super Lattice Steel has on here, he has the uh, the panel body suit. That's why I meant to say the panel body suit. It's not the panel flex suit. It's panel body suit. That's the leg style that he's using. That also, um, you can detail that, um, uh, that with, uh, in fact, we're gonna kinda play with that real quick, cause he's, he's actually done a mirror good job. In fact, he's really one of my, he's really one of my favorite uh, Superman cosplayers next to uh, Prime Beyond. And we're gonna go over to uh, the panel body suit. Now, if you want to play on with that bit, Let's see if you can fill in. Yeah, you can kind of fill it in with, uh, to kind of make it your own style, you can kind of fill it in uh, the trim part of that with the uh, with silver. But other than that, you know, you, you can do it as your option. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you know, it's you, you're not doing anything too inaccurate or you're not doing anything wrong. I personally believe that, you know, for the males, I think it will look much better um, for the males. For the female, I would personally say just you know use the the ice, um, the ice leg piece. But for the males, it looks it looks beautiful. It looks perfect. And along and along with that, you can also use the tunic of uh, greed. You can use the tunic of greed uh, chest piece to also achieve this look. The only reason why I didn't use that chest piece for the female is because that emblem will will you know it will it actually glitches on the chest part there for the females. So I went on right here and used the Stellwork uh, Defender chest piece. And for the males, you can definitely use the, you know, as you see here, of course, like I said, the Tunic Agreed chest piece. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And of course, you know, Super Last Steel is flaunting that really nice. So, um, you guys just wanna let y'all know, uh, this is a wrap for right now, of course, but you guys check out this channel for more Joy of Designing. Uh, styles here all right uh, check out Colonel Twerkins um, you know YouTube channel which of course he does build a tune there and then finally uh, just keep a lookout for my playlist 
of more joy of designing stuff and in fact i'm trying to improve the series i'm trying to improve the, the video you know basically just trying to put my intro in as you guys see and all that jazz so i'm trying to ramp up the production a bit so it's not too much but i want to try to keep things a bit simplistic if you will especially with the music so but i'll, I'll go into detail with that a little bit later right now i'm going to go ahead and kind of sign off um and just let you guys know love what you do and do what you love for the love of the game thank you for watching and of course the show now by his grace.